Um, so we don't have the VM nowadays, though we know that Hashem sends us messages, um, maybe like Baskol or something, yet we aren't on the level to be attuned to it. So how do we know the messages that Hashem sends us? And I have a specific example. Um, for instance, my family lives in a one-bedroom apartment, and we've been um, challenged um, the past few years with cockroaches, um, neighbors smoking, um, a lot of recurrent mold, and we've been davening for um, for these things to go away, that it should be kapara, and um, you know this should be our stress should be alleviated. Um, the, you know, or all the stress that we were. Um, you know, um, on Rosh Hashanah um, should be taken out through these things. Um, and we were doing our ashtalas with exterminators or taking out the molds or whatever, air uh, purifiers. Um, but these things keep reoccurring and they keep coming back um, no matter what we do, no matter how much we're davening or do teshuva. So how do we understand, like, and my husband's um, say, suggesting maybe it's a sign from Hashem that maybe we should leave but um i have no idea like how are we supposed to know like what these messages that are some hashem is sending us in That's general and i guess in this specific um example well uh number one our rabbis tell us if we have difficulties in our life the first thing we have to do if i should by myself we have to check our ways to see if we're doing something wrong and Hashem is giving a punishment for what we're doing wrong. So that's the first thing to do, that we have to uh, uh, check if our speech is correct, if our actions are correct, if our thoughts are correct. Sometimes uh, we can't figure out by ourselves. We have to go to a rabbi, a, Talmud, a scholar, a Torah scholar, and discuss with him, and they will... Uh, try to go over our life and point out things that maybe we have to fix up in order to uh, Hashem to uh, have uh, Rachmanus and uh, have mercy on us and change things that are from what the, the bad that's going on. That's number one. Uh, sounds to me like uh, probably that's what you're doing, which we did. I don't know if you spoke to a, to a Torah scholar that really that's very important to do in a case like that. Sometimes Hashem wants us to move away. Sometimes go to, don't stay in a the, in the situation that's uh, uh, with so many problems. Uh, maybe if we start over, we have a cloud, go to a different place and you have a different uh, uh, muzzle, different bad, bad things happening to a person. A person, I don't know if you can't afford it or not to move to a different place, whatever it is. But I would certainly uh, uh, be very much in touch with the Talmud Chochem with the rabbi of uh, your shul or somebody, a rabbi that you know, and sit down to discuss with him everything you said now, and uh, he'll be able to discuss with you your lifestyle and uh, your history and so on. We can't do it over this uh, Zoom now, but uh, you have to, we have to have somebody to go and, and discuss with you the whole lifestyle that you're living in and, and try to come up with uh, a reason why this is happening. <laughs>